What's going on, on YouTube? Well, I'm back with an unboxing video. Uh, finally got home from my vacation. Uh, <laughs> had a great vacation, a lot of time off, much needed, and came home to multiple, multiple boxes inside my uh, mailbox. Uh, I got a couple pops. We'll try to decipher where they're from. One of them says Trans World Entertainment. Not sure if that's Entertainment Earth or what exactly that is. The other one's Galactic Toys. Uh, I think Galactic Toys is just Galactic Toys. And then I got a couple of comic books that came in through the mail. Not sure what exactly those are. Eh, we'll open them up see what exactly we got. We'll go ahead and do this uh, Trans World Entertainment Corp. <laughs> we'll do that one first. See exactly what it is. Uh, the box is actually in pretty good shape, so hopefully it's not damaged. Uh, if it's anything like the last couple packages I've got, I've gotten lucky where they actually uh, put them in soft protectors. Loving that because the likelihood that they'll get damaged. If we could just get some of these other companies to do that, then and this one's actually not in a soft protector. Go figure. But it doesn't matter. Uh, seeing where it's from, I understand why crazy thing is literally that's the receipt like it's like somebody printed it off of the piece of paper and it's like cut all whopper jaw and stuff it's kind of odd hopefully with the there was a packing in there oh sweet boom we got vampire mr burns from uh the simpsons treehouse of horrors this was one of the uh, last convention was at uh, New York Comic Con. This was one of the New York Comic Con. This was the FYE exclusive. Kind of cool or weird that they didn't put a FYE sticker on there, but meh, that's fine too. So, oh, whew. <laughs> oh man, got to be more careful. Uh, Kind of neat. Alright, and the next one is from Galactic Toys. So, let's see what that one is. Alright. And this one actually looks like it does have soft protector on it. And bubble wrap. So. And it was a Gal Galactic Toys exclusive. Yeah, I was kind of excited when this one uh, first went up for pre-order. I'm not sure how his, uh, how his role is going to change in uh, Season 4. Season 4 dropped yesterday. Haven't got a chance to watch it yet. Um, but I know him and a League of Villains were... I don't know, man. He kind of plays a role that... You don't know if he's... If he has extra strength, or if he's just kind of like, like, I don't know. I kind of get the feeling like he's a super weak character, and like he's just trying to present himself like he's some kind of badass, but in reality, like he's kind of at the whim of whoever kind of controls him. If you look at my shirt, got the villains on today. So, pretty cool. But yeah, I was stoked to get that one though. I'm I'm super excited about all of them. There's actually a uh, a t-shirt bundle that's uh coming out in December. That's a GameStop exclusive. So I'm gonna try to pre-order that one if at all possible. Started to move on to the unboxing of the comic books. Decided, you know what? He's awful heavy. Let's go ahead and take a look at him outside the box. Uh, it's going to take me just a second just to get him out of the pop protector. But he's definitely worth a uh, a second look. Ah, <laughs> got a hand cramp. Ain't that about a bitch? All right. Let's see.
know that got a lot of guys open them from the bottom. I don't think it really matters. Shit. Oh, it was his uh, pedestal. I was like, damn. That's kind of cool. Came with a little disc pedestal. It has a, a little stud in there because he's so top heavy. Like, he is so top heavy. Yeah, you definitely couldn't get a, uh, a good look at him inside the box. Like, look at the detailing on this. Like I said, I think he kind of, like whoever the, I, can, I don't remember the guy's name, whoever's in the TV screen that's always telling him what to do, I can, it just kind of presents it like he's like a little child and he's waiting f to get some kind of recognition. And I don't know if that was technically a all for one before he gets puts his mask on or before he puts his uh, helmet on. It, I think that's kind of the gist of it. I don't know. I'll have to go back and uh, rewatch season three. But it just kind of was like, hey, he's like a little puppet at times. Uh, I kinda, That was kind of the vibe that I got from uh, season three and the role that he kind of played. Whereas Deku, you know, All Might tries to bring him up like, hey, man, you're going to be my replacement. Like, I really want you to look good. Eh, he didn't really get the feel. You kind of get the feel like he's kind of replaceable. And I, for the life of me, I cannot pronounce his name. Tamura. Tamura. Shigaraki. Shigaraki. I don't remember. I don't know. My, my reading skills suck. But yeah. I thought I'd let you guys get a look at... Uh, a close look at him. A lot of times I don't take him out of the, the package, but this one, man, just wasn't doing him justice, showing him the side view or the box view, but he is so top heavy. I understand why they put the little disc in there that you technically usually don't get with uh, Funko Pops, but all right, let's cut back to the video and I'll go ahead and uh, finish the unboxing with the comics, but I thought you guys would like to see this. All right, the first comic book. And they got it bun. They got it uh, bubble wrapped real good. Hopefully, it'll be in good shape. I think this one I actually got off of eBay. I know the next one I did because I can see the eBay tape. I don't order a lot of comics off eBay unless the price is just absolutely like bananas or super super cheap. If it's a steal or if it's a specific issue that I need just to complete a run, sometimes I'll jump on it. Uh, this one was Riri Williams Ironheart number one. This is the variant cover. I don't think this was the one in ten uh, incentive. I'm not positive on that one though. Uh, I think I gave like three bucks for it shipped, so you can't beat that. Uh, out of this run, number one was all that I didn't have. Uh, I actually have the first prints of all of them. Not all the variants, I don't think. I think I might be missing a variant or two. Let's see. Well, they got these ones uh, taped up good. Uh, it's a Gemini box. I like those Gemini boxes. And another variant cover for Riri Williams Iron Heart number one. That means I'm missing one more box, and the one more box actually has the regular cover and I think another variant for the uh, Reaver Williams Ironheart number one. Uh, both of these are in really, really good shape, though. Corners are sharp. I don't see any kind of damage to it. I don't think this one had any damage either. Nah, like they're sharp. I don't know if the camera can really get in there on anything. Mm, nah, not really. But, either way, so, two new comics. Hey. Yeah. A little short video for you guys. Like I said, I just want to do a quick unboxing stuff. I haven't made a video in uh, a week because, like I said, I've been on vacation enjoying myself. 
Yeah. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys' time. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Uh, tell me what you liked, if you liked anything in the video. And see you guys soon.